Bitcoin mining is one of the most fascinating parts of the cryptocurrency world. It's the process that keeps the Bitcoin network secure, decentralized, and functioning smoothly. But what does mining really mean, and how can someone start mining Bitcoin step by step? To understand that, we first need to explore how Bitcoin and blockchain technology actually work. Bitcoin runs on a blockchain, a distributed ledger that records all transactions made within the network. Every Bitcoin transaction ever made is stored on this digital ledger, which is maintained by miners. These miners use powerful computers to solve complex mathematical puzzles that verify transactions and add them to the blockchain. In return, miners are rewarded with newly created Bitcoin and transaction fees. This process is called proof of work, a system that ensures that every transaction is legitimate and that no one can spend the same Bitcoin twice. When Bitcoin was first launched in 2009 by the mysterious creator Satoshi Nakamoto, mining could be done on a simple computer using just a CPU. Back then, mining difficulty was low, and anyone could earn Bitcoin easily from their home computer. But as Bitcoin became more valuable, more people started mining, and the competition increased. This led to the creation of specialized hardware known as ASIC miners, short for application-specific integrated circuits, designed specifically to mine Bitcoin efficiently. The first step in learning how to mine Bitcoin is understanding the requirements. To begin, you need mining hardware, mining software, a Bitcoin wallet, and access to affordable electricity. The most important component is the mining hardware. Modern Bitcoin miners typically use ASICs because they are much faster and more energy efficient than traditional CPUs or GPUs. Popular ASIC miners include models from Bitmines and Miner Series and Microt's What's Miner Series. These machines are purpose-built for high hash rate performance, meaning they can solve more mining puzzles per second, increasing your chances of earning Bitcoin rewards. The next crucial factor is electricity. Mining Bitcoin requires a lot of energy, and power costs directly affect profitability. Each ASIC miner consumes hundreds or even thousands of watts per hour, so setting up in a region with low electricity costs can make a huge difference. Some miners even move their operations to countries with cheaper energy or use renewable energy sources like hydroelectric or solar power to reduce costs and environmental impact. Energy efficiency plays a key role in long-term mining success. Once you've acquired your mining hardware, the next step is to set up your mining rig. This setup includes assembling the hardware, ensuring proper cooling, and connecting to a stable internet source. Mining rigs produce a lot of heat, so proper ventilation or cooling systems are essential to maintain performance and prevent overheating. Many large-scale miners use dedicated facilities known as mining farms, large warehouses filled with hundreds of mining rigs running continuously. After setting up your hardware, you'll need mining software. This is the program that connects your miner to the Bitcoin blockchain network. There are several mining software options available, including Kminer, BF Miner, and Easy Miner. Each of these programs allows you to monitor your hash rate, adjust performance settings, and connect to mining pools. Mining software also communicates with the Bitcoin network to verify transactions and add them to the blockchain. The next important decision is whether to mine solo or join a mining pool. Solo mining means working independently to solve a block and earn rewards directly but the chances of success are low because the competition is enormous. Joining a mining pool, on the other hand, allows miners to combine their computing power and share the rewards proportionally. Mining pools distribute rewards based on how much computational work each participant contributes. Popular mining pools include Slush Pool, Ant Pool, f to pool and BTC, Com. Joining a pool increases your chances of earning consistent rewards, even if they're smaller compared to solo mining. Once your mining setup is complete and your mining software is configured, you'll need a Bitcoin wallet to receive your earnings. A Bitcoin wallet stores your mined coins securely and allows you to send or receive payments. Wallets can be software-based like Electrum or Exodus, hardware-based like Ledger Nano or Trezor, or even mobile apps. Hardware wallets are considered the safest option for storing Bitcoin because they re-offline and protected from online attacks. Make sure to back up your wallet's private keys and never share them with anyone. Now that your Bitcoin mining system is running, the process is mostly automated. Your mining software continuously works to solve mathematical puzzles and add new blocks to the blockchain. 
Every time a new block is mined successfully, miners receive a block reward, a set amount of Bitcoin that decreases over time through an event known as Bitcoin halving. When Bitcoin started, miners earned 50 BTC per block. After several halvings, the reward has decreased to 3.1 to 5 BTC per block in 2024. This built-in scarcity helps maintain Bitcoin's value and slows down the release of new coins into circulation. Understanding Bitcoin halving is critical because it directly affects mining profitability. Having occurs approximately every four years, reducing the block reward by half. While it decreases immediate rewards, it also tends to increase Bitcoin's price over time due to reduced supply. Historically, Bitcoin's biggest bull runs have happened after having events, which makes mining even more appealing for those who can maintain efficient setups. Another crucial aspect of Bitcoin mining is the hash rate, the speed at which a miner can perform calculations. The higher your hash rate, the better your chances of successfully mining a block. The overall Bitcoin network hash rate has increased massively over the years as more miners join the system. This has made Bitcoin mining more secure, but also more competitive. Mining difficulty adjusts automatically every two weeks based on the total computing power in the network, ensuring that new blocks are added roughly every 10 minutes. Mining profitability depends on multiple factors, Bitcoin's market price, electricity cost, mining hardware efficiency, and network difficulty. Online mining calculators can help estimate potential earnings based on these variables. These tools allow miners to analyze whether their operation will be profitable in real time. Generally, when Bitcoin's price rises, more miners join the network, increasing difficulty. When prices fall, less efficient miners shut down, balancing the network. Environmental concerns have become an important part of the Bitcoin mining conversation. Critics argue that Bitcoin's proof of work consumes too much electricity. However, new mining methods and technologies are emerging to make mining greener. Many operations now use renewable energy sources or recover waste heat for secondary purposes, such as heating buildings or powering greenhouses. Innovations in sustainable energy integration continue to make Bitcoin mining more eco-friendly. Mining doesn't just secure the Bitcoin network, it also decentralizes it. Unlike traditional banking systems controlled by central authorities, Bitcoin relies on thousands of miners across the globe. This decentralized network ensures that no single entity can control or manipulate Bitcoin's ledger. Each miner plays a role in verifying and recording transactions, making the network transparent and trustless. Over the years, Bitcoin mining has evolved from a small hobby into a global industry. Companies have built massive mining farms and data centers dedicated entirely to crypto mining. In some regions, governments have started to regulate mining activities to ensure energy efficiency and fair usage. Others have embraced it as an opportunity for economic growth and technological advancement. This global expansion shows how integral mining has become to the cryptocurrency ecosystem. If you're planning to mine Bitcoin, one key strategy is to stay updated with the latest mining hardware developments. Technology advances quickly and new ASIC models with better hash rates and lower power consumption are released regularly. Upgrading your hardware can make a significant difference in your mining profitability and efficiency. Some miners also reinvest their earnings into more powerful rigs to scale up operations over time. Another important concept in Bitcoin mining is security. Since mining operations involve valuable hardware and digital assets, protecting your equipment and wallet is crucial. Using strong passwords, enabling two-factor authentication, and keeping your private keys offline are essential practices. Additionally, maintaining a secure network and physical environment helps safeguard your operation against theft and cyber attacks. For beginners, cloud mining might seem like an easier option. Cloud mining services allow you to rent hash power from large mining companies instead of setting up your own hardware. However, this comes with risks. Many cloud mining platforms have proven to be scams, and profitability is often lower compared to running your own equipment. It's always better to research thoroughly before investing in any cloud mining service. As Bitcoin adoption continues to grow, the role of miners becomes even more critical. They ensure that every transaction remains valid, and every new Bitcoin is issued according to the protocol's rules. Without miners, the network would stop functioning. In return for their work, miners receive Bitcoin, 
the incentive that fuels the decentralized system. Understanding how to mine Bitcoin step by step gives you insight into how decentralized networks operate. It is not just about earning cryptocurrency, but also about participating in one of the most significant technological shifts of our time. Mining combines economics, computer science, and energy management into a system that powers the world's first decentralized digital currency. Mining Bitcoin is both a technical and strategic process. It requires investment, planning, and continuous adaptation to the market and technology. Whether you're setting up a small home miner or building a large-scale operation, the fundamentals remain the same – efficient hardware, affordable power, reliable software, and a secure wallet. As the crypto world continues to evolve, mining will likely become more efficient, competitive, and integrated with renewable technologies. Those who understand the system deeply and adapt quickly will remain at the forefront of the digital currency revolution. The Bitcoin network, driven by miners around the world, continues to prove that decentralized systems can thrive without central control, a true reflection of the power of innovation and trustless technology. Bitcoin mining is more than earning coins, it is about mastering how blockchain and computing power create real digital value. Start small, learn as you go, and scale your setup with time. If this helps you understand Bitcoin mining better, like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for more crypto guides. Drop a comment sharing your mining experience. See you in the next video.